Hi there. I'm Tim Roberts, a senior mechanical engineering student at Tufts University and inventor of the iChair. The iChair is a simple bolt-on kit that can turn any powered wheelchair into an eye-controlled mobility solution. Now you won't see it in the workplace anytime soon, but this is a working proof-of-concept prototype, and I'm going to show you how it works. The system consists of four components. The chair itself, the joystick control mechanism, the eye tracking headset, and a laptop computer. The final version of the iChair kit will be compatible with most makes and models of powered wheelchairs. But for the prototype, we retrofitted a Pride Mobility Jazzy 1113 electric power chair, generously donated to us by a refurbished equipment marketplace of Concord, New Hampshire. The eye tracking system is actually an off-the-shelf Logitech webcam that has been stripped of its plastic casing and put into a custom-made headset. The headset wears much like a pair of wraparound headphones. Now, this is only a prototype version, but the final version will be heavily padded and custom-fitted for comfortable and stable all-day use. The joystick controller is a convenient bolt-on system that uses two servos attached to steering knuckles to articulate the joystick left and right and forward and back. Perhaps the most important component of the iChair is the programming that drives it all. We have a complex system of lab view code that takes video in from the headset webcam and then processes it. And then it determines where the user is looking and whether each eye is open or closed. It then takes that information and translates it into joystick movement. The control scheme is remarkably simple. To turn the chair in place, you hold both eyes open and simply look in the direction you want to turn. To move forward, you must hold your left eye closed. You may also turn while moving forward by holding your left eye closed and looking to the left or right. To move backward, you close your right eye. This was determined to be the safest control scheme since it requires the user to actively choose to close one eye in order to move. So that's how the eye chair works. Now, let's see it in action. 